Hello. It's Sunday, the 9th, a few days before Valentine's Day, which means somebody's turning. How old are you going to be? Three. 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 Yep. <laughs> somebody's going to be three. Almost your birthday. So, almost it's your birthday. It's almost my birthday. Right. Almost your it's birthday. Almost your birthday. <laughs> and we kind of sit. We go make messy faces. Messy faces with messy faces with a cake together. Together. And we're gonna have messy treats. Messy <laughs> treats. And it's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds so fun. <laughs> and maybe go to Chuck the Cheese. What do you think? Chuck me. I'm going to get chicken cheese with Mona. You can go with your friend. Right. Right. Let's see. I want to see syrup at my oh. birthday, too. Yeah. Like you will. Like Let's see if anybody's in here. If it's just us, Chewy's hey. here. Hey, Chewy LTV. How are you? Someone is live. How are you doing? Me. We're doing all right. Not doing too bad. Yeah, somebody else is probably alive at the same time, but I don't know who it is. If it's Caleb, sorry about that. If it's JH, I'm really sorry about that. I think those are the only two, but I thought I was trying to come like after Caleb went, but not at the same time as GH. But I'm going at the same time as somebody else. My bad. Sorry about that, but Yeah, we tried to be in the middle of yeah. everybody. I mean, I guess there's enough of us if we want to share the audience. We can do that. But if I'm going at the same time as somebody else, uh, I, I do apologize for that. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, hello, Storm Riders. Uh, okay. So, Mr. Mel, how are we doing? Hope you and your girlfriend are doing good, though. Things are all right over here. Oh, it is, J.H. Sorry, dude. Well, he'll have a huge audience. I mean, yeah, we're not taking away from We're not anything. exactly uh, stealing his audience, if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> He's got uh, quite a fish room and quite a following. Mm -hmm. We're, uh, we're hanging nerds. out. <laughs> Just hanging out. Yeah. Well, I'm looking here. Yeah. I thought he was on at five. But that could have been five Eastern. So that's four o'clock ours. <laughs> Something about yeah, it says uh, four. He just hasn't uh -oh. started yet. Well, sorry about that. Well, if you want to hang out here, you're welcome to hang out here. If you want to go to JH, go to JH. If you find JH uh, entertaining, make sure you give him a like because he does a good job. Mm -hmm. But uh, good guy. Yeah. Well, we're all here today. We've had, uh, had a busy day today, moving some fish around, catching some Pokemon. You know, doing the thing. Snowing. Yeah, it's snowing again. Um. Or... <laughs> Not a fan of snow, personally. I'm not a fan of cold. It's just not my thing. It's really not my thing at all. But uh, move goldfish from right here. Mm -hmm. Now we've got these in there. This. So uh, we can flip that light over to a blue light. You know, kind of like how we're doing with the glow beta thing. And it's like a spooky guppy tank. It's kind of fun, you know. Okay, cool. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, it's just a fun Anyways. guppy movement. Lots of yeah. movement tank. Haven't had a random guppy tank in a while. Figured. Okay, <laughs> They're just rescues. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Andy's fish room, Andy's basement fish room, the blue wood he has. So shout out to Andy P. You're the man. But, uh, you know, fish are doing good. Hello, down the wormhole. How are we doing? She has a cool icon, too. Yeah, the back. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So what are the myths or facts involving glow bettas at me and you? Well, everybody thinks, well, not everybody, but a lot of people think that they're injected dye. Yeah, the, the injection dye thing. If you, if you believe that, um, yeah, you haven't, you haven't done any research at all. If you, if you, if you believe that, if you genuinely believe that these fish are dyed, Every single being one injected. Of them. Right. I mean, you're you're wild. You I can mean, you can even go right to glowfish.com, yeah. and it's one of the first things under their education that they say, mm -hmm. you know, they aren't harmed. They're born no. this way. 
They were no. born brilliant. That's yes. what they say. Yes, it, it's all about changing the DNA in the fish. And we're not affiliated with Glowfish. We're yeah, we're not, we're not sponsored by no. Glowfish. We're not affiliated with Glowfish. We just um, have a Glowbetta. We have a Glowbetta. We mm -hmm. bought it the other day, full price. Um, and then we, yeah, been enjoying it ever since. Um, I thought it was on sale. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was on sale. Yeah, yeah was. you walked in the sale. red sign. But like, I didn't get a discount because I have a terrible YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, nothing like that. Um, yeah, we bought the bed, like I said. Bottom legit, yeah. right? um, <laughs> we chose to do that. At any rate, the, the latest pile of garbage that I heard today involving the Glowbettas um, was that they are more prone to disease in some way or fashion. And... I think if you're believing that, then you have no idea what you're talking about. Because how would you know? The Globet has been in the public, the hands of the public for a few days. How do you know? So they're okay, Joe. <laughs> um, let's see. I see you. Let's see. Chewy says no dye involved. Mm -hmm. It is the DNA strands of coral injected into an egg, right? Yeah, and from really the jellyfish, cool. and, and then they can pass it down from parent to from parent to child, right? And they um, that's, that's awesome. I was gonna say the whole point wasn't even to put it out there for mm -hmm. consumers, right? It was to help the environment and clean waters right. if it was polluted. <laughs> okay. You're doing a good job. You're okay. But uh, it, it would be interesting uh, to see that, Chewy. You're right. And, and I think that's coming soon. I, I think we're going to see glow everything eventually. Um, you have to understand that that is a brand. I mean, it, and it's a, it's a trademark name. The, the glow, the GLO in itself is trademarked. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're going to want to make more money, and I, I mean, I'm happy to give them my money for cool fish. Like, I think I think it's really cool. Um, don't get me wrong; I'm not like anti-hybrid fish. I'm not a purist by any means. I, I like no, them all. I think it's really rad. I have. love wild caught fish. You know, we have them. <laughs> I love them. Chills. But there's nothing wrong with the glowfish. Down the wormhole, Miss D says, uh, I think people are going to breed them. Yep, I think so too. Do you think we will see people in court if you use that name? Yes. Right. I if mean, you, there's. If you use their name and sell them to that brand and use their stuff, that's copyright infringement. Right. They're going to nail you for that. You can. Especially if you're underselling them. Like the the, the dudes, the little dudes went for what, $16.99? Everybody sells them the same price for the most part. Yeah, but what was the price? It was like six. I think just small male benefit. Let's just Benno say it's fifteen 16. bucks because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I think about, it was right? sixteen ninety nine here. Okay, so let's say I do know what I'm talking about. It is sixteen ninety nine. Uh if we were to do the breeding and selling, they would certainly have an issue with us selling them and at nine ninety nine because I have forty of them and what am I gonna do with forty of them? I'm just some dork with an apartment, right? Like you know, I'm just kidding. We got a whole bunch of tanks here. We can deal with it. Uh, <laughs> but the reality is, is they do, they will get you for using their name. And they flat out tell you that on their website too. Like you can't use our name. You can't use any of our stuff or we will get you. And I can't blame them. I really can't. Yeah. Right. Well, that's their trademark. Yeah. That's yeah. like anybody. That's like if you went and sold Nike stuff. Right. Yeah. They're going to come after you. You sell Disney stuff. I mean, plenty of people still do the Disney and they sell it, but legally they shouldn't be. And right. eventually it's going to catch up to you. Correct. It'll catch up to you. Yeah. People are already breeding the glow tetras. Yeah. The thing with the glow tetra is just because it carries a glow gene doesn't mean it can't breed or won't breed or do anything different. Right. It'll breed and it'll breed the same exact way as a normal tetra. It just gives you some broadleaf plants. Make sure you're feeding them live food or frozen foods for a couple weeks. Do a massive water change or two. Good to go. But that's some of the myths going around, too. Mm -hmm. um, that they, they don't say breathe. that they, they don't, don't breathe. breathe or that they say that the people that are making glowfish should make them sterile. That's a fair argument. I mean, if it was something like a glow guppy, a glow molly, a glow sword tail, a glow cichlid, I mean, that would be, um, that would make me nervous because they do breed so quickly, so rapidly. 
I mean, look at Florida. It's a nightmare. Well, if, literally because of our algae. Well, there's a lot of places you know, that the farming has something to do too. The massive flooding, hurricanes has you know an effect, but there's still a bunch of turd sandwiches that ruin Blue Springs by dumping their common plecos there. I mean, that's suck. that's all over the world. People are putting pets that they shouldn't in yeah. you know ecosystems that they shouldn't be right. in. Um, but that brings me to another point about the glowfish that they were so worried that if they did get released into you know waters were they gonna were they gonna harm the ecosystem were they gonna breed with tetras that don't that don't, carry don't that glow brain. that don't carry that gene and the FDA and the who else was doing this study the wildlife yeah wildlife was it, was it in probably. Florida and they found that these glowfish supposedly Mm -hmm. um, do not cause any harm to the ecosystem. Right. That they're not going to survive survive in most waters where they're you know released or any because um, they're mostly sold in the United States right. and Asia. Right. Um, but they said that they're not a threat because they're so they're brighter, so that they're going to be a larger target. And then for the most part, they can't even survive in that in that water right i love this feature by the way because mm -hmm. i always i always enjoy your opinion down the wormhole i always think you have a very fair and concise opinion on everything uh i just think that these will be breeding and showing them more might get called by the company more. oh absolutely a bright yellow green meta i mean people are going to go for that here's what we don't know though do they breed true, and what do they breed out as? Am I going to have a blood? Am I going to have a 50-50 split of glow bettas and blood of splendens? Like, what's what are they going to show? Furthermore, can you then take that and put it with a dumbo betta, and then you have yeah, you a know. dumbo glow betta? Like, that'd be rad. Like, you know, imagine this floofy glow in the dark betta. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it'll, it'll, it'll really irritate the internet, but I think it'll be awesome. I think they're just starting with these glow bettas. Yeah. I think just give it some time. You know, yeah, like they're gonna the roll out. Well, they're, they're gonna roll out different colors, mm -hmm. and then are they gonna take you know different types of bettas? Right. You know, is that their next move? Is that their I think next plan? Hobbyists brand? will probably do it first. If you think well, about it, hobbyists be. can really save. The market. Well, they can save the world if they try to, but they can save the market on a lot of things if the hobbyist is wise. As a Chewy said that they came close to banning goldfish in Canada, and that's another thing to talk about. Not really? Does he mean goldfish? goldfish or goldfish? Well, if you think about it, there's so many goldfish that are bred purely for looks and aesthetic purposes, like a glowfish. You know, what makes a glow better different than, say, one of those pearl scales that is so round it just wiggles? You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because think about how many different goldfish have been bred and for, for, for our, per right. you know, for for our, our enjoyment. enjoyment, not yeah. just naturally out there in the waters. Right. The, glow are, the glow tetras are apparently very true. Oh, I would, I would imagine. I mean, that... As far as where that glow trait or hey, 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 as far as where that trait is on the DNA, I mean, that is how they pass it from one fish to the next fish to the next fish. They, they've done that on purpose. It, it's a carry chain. I mean, it's similar to like fin shape. Fin shape gets continued from, you know, parent to child, child to next child, yada, yada, yada. Hello, punch your pains. Hi. Or punchy pants, if you want to irritate it. Let's see, I'm just looking. Yeah, he meant goldfish. Gold. Wow. That's interesting. I'll have well, to look that up. That's it, really cool. It took... Because it's kind of like how uh, how we have carp, and they're just like a nuisance. Yeah. I mean, a goldfish is a carp. I mean, it's not these Asian carp that are just a total nuisance. Well, you know, well, if they're talking about well, Canada doesn't have glowfish. They don't allow it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, Canada doesn't allow it. Um, I don't think the UK does. I know Canada doesn't. 
and then it was 2017 or 18. 2017 or 2018, that California reversed their ruling, and then they allowed the sale of glowfish. Can you imagine Americans not being able to get coral meadows? What the hell, man? This is the land of freedom, man. What the hell? This is the land of this is land of Coors Light and NASCAR. What the ham sandwich? Man, we got this thing called Wisconsin. We do what we want, Wisconsin. You can have a line in Wisconsin. Well, there's other fish that you can't get in America that are yeah, I mean, like, and like you can't get snakeheads. Can't get right. both in. Well, obviously, people <laughs> go around that. Can't Asian get Asian, Asian uh, arowana. I mean, if you have an Asian arowana in America, you're not telling anybody about it. Because fish them all up and come take that sucker from you and euthanize it. She's being a goof. Anybody else got a free roll that's wild? <laughs> Sorry. Some people's children. No, but seriously, could you imagine somebody in like America not being able to get one of these fish? They could get it there, but I can't get it here. What the heck? And then somebody in Wisconsin pulls up, like, yeah, I have monkeys, a tiger, a lion. You can no. own a lot of I animals mean, in Wisconsin. Wisconsin that you is, can't. is crazy if you didn't know. They do allow quite a bit of animals that a lot of other states in the there United is a States whole, don't allow. Hold on, look at this. There is a whole lake of goldfish in Alberta. Huh. That, that sounds really interesting from a person who's never, you know, seen it, been it, whatever. But also as a person who knows how that kind of stuff happens, that sucks. Blue Springs, Florida, man, it's destroyed. No genetically modified fish do not support. Okay. Why? That's okay, though. I mean. Yeah, but why? Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, dogs are. Same yeah, they're is. selected, select, selectively bred, mm -hmm. for sure. Same thing, right? There's a lot of foods that are obviously genetically modified. Plants. So can... There's a bunch of plants. Stop eating corn. Yeah, there's what a lot of soybean. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. Huh. Dwarf China is being appealed in Canada as well as one ones from Africa and I'll be able to survive in the winters. Ah, that's a good point. Huh. I guess that kind of would, that would keep numbers down. Because, I mean, like, like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, I mean, Texas, oh my gosh. It would be wild. I mean, you could, there's literally anything would survive down there. Warmer waters, yeah. Yeah, well, you also have seasonal fluctuations as mm -hmm. well. I mean, and that's really good that, that Canada does that, though. I appreciate that. Well, let's try I mean, not the whole winter thing, because, like, obviously, you're not controlling that. Like, taking care of your, your local waterways. I respect the crap of that. We have a, a turd sandwich in the presidency right now who's not doing a very good job of protecting local waterways, that's for sure. So. Australia's pretty big in protecting a lot of Yes, Australia, nature, Australia and, and their prime minister they're, do a wonderful job. They're very except focused with on fires. But they're very focused on protecting their wildlife, and especially what comes there. I mean, they don't let a lot. I mean, they're an island, you know. Right. They're really. What was it? Remember, there was. Didn't they have a like a bunny epidemic? I don't Feral know how to cats. say that. Feral Didn't cats they have too. some rabbit issue? I don't recall. I know there was cats. Or maybe they. There was cattle for a while. Camels. I, I'm pretty sure there was a rabbit issue. If anybody knows what I'm talking about. Oh. Well, anyways, there's also a myth that these globetas get sick or can get sicker faster than other fish. Again, nobody knows that, and there's no proof of it at all. On the glowfish, like there's this, there's this really lengthy article, really, really, really lengthy, in depth, breaks it all down for you. There's no nowhere in there. At all, does it say the fish is more susceptible to any di any disease or parasite or bacterial versus any other fish? I did link. Are you talking about the Gale Davies? Yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, I did link that in our um, yeah. below the video. If you guys want to check out some of the 
articles. Yeah, she did a good job. Um, I think I might add a few more. I didn't put all of them in there, but I went and searched the internet for actual data, scientific research. journals. <laughs> You know, not just like some that. guy's opinion on the internet. Right. You know, and you can go to Wikipedia. It's like my friend who's an ichthyologist said, it's like, no, put it on paper and then let's show me what you're talking about. Put it on paper. You can go to Wikipedia and get a nice um, synopsis. Right. And then there's the links there that'll give you um, more articles and journals to look at. Uh, I looked through my library and that's how I was able to access a lot of the articles. But I linked a couple. And you can take a look and read more on them. I told I'm I'm with you, uh, Dan Su Dragon. I, I'm with you. So I was I was completely undecided initially as well. Um, and then I was then in, uh, you know I was kind of looking at them, looking at them more, and I don't I don't really like the tetras. I don't like the tiger barbs. I don't like the little sharks. I, I just don't like them. That's just me. Um, it just doesn't do it for me. But I thought the beta thing was really cool. You know, I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. You know, it's really cool looking. That's all it was for me. It was like, this looks really cool. I think I can breed it too. Let's see what happens. Here's Lindsay. Makes Miss a good. Lindsay. I, I read this, this show. too. Well, what is it? That studies have actually shown that if the glow variety was released into the ecosystem, that the wild females almost every single time are going to choose the natural variety. They're not going to really? be right. It's um, that is cool. I'm trying to think which article I'd read that in. It wasn't even, I know it wasn't about the actual glow beta, it was more uh -huh. of the glow fish. This was published, you know, a couple of years before glow betas came out, Gosh. but it said it's almost like they know. Like say, oh, it's not right, then you shouldn't do it. But yeah. it's it's not no, it's not natural. It's not natural to them. Nothing wrong with being picky. But that's I have read that as well, that they will most that's likely really cool. go to breed to somebody that doesn't hold the glow. We had a glow DUI gene. accident. <laughs> Ten thirteen. Got a DUI. Let's see. Making the glow variety extinct. Yeah, right. absolutely. If, if it got onto the wild, that glowfish is dead. But that's what they say. They they're toes. They and that's kind of a nice survive. thing. They no. they spend more energy nice to thing. glow. Right. So they they have to use more energy to actually glow. And obviously, <laughs> they're, oh, work they're, those they're proteins. They're brighter. Right. right. They're yeah. brighter. Gotcha. So they're just a very big type or yeah. big target. So they're not they're not going to survive. Hashtag free plug for uh, PetSmart. Tampa Tom Fishing making a great point. Hashtag free plug. They are for sale at PetSmart. Go and get you one. Um, I think the premium males are sold were twenty nine ninety nine. The not premium boys were sixteen ninety nine, and the girls were ten bucks nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a fair deal if you like it. Go check them out. But uh, yeah, there's no proof that they get more sick or less sick than any other fish there's there's no evidence of that anywhere well they, they talk about how the glow fish or you know better needs the same care yes that you would give any tetra Danio, totally. meta i i, I it am, just needs the same thing i'm very much of the opinion i don't care where the fish came from oh it's a south american cichlid or it's from antarctica like it it seriously doesn't matter if you bought that damn thing at PetSmart. Just take care of your fish, right? Keep clean water, whatever your tap pH is, focus on that. Just take care of your damn fish, dude. Just that's all it comes down to at the end of the day. If your fish came from a local pet smart or a local store, most likely, most likely, you know, it can tolerate a pH of seven to eight, a temp of seventy to eighty, and it's gonna be fine, right? Unless you're talking, I went to my local fish store, they had something muy neato. Right, and then you got to do what you got to do, you know, buffer pH up through crushed coral. But I mean, again, those types of things, you're prepared for that. You're not going to the store going, that glow better needs a low pH. Better uh, grab this, grab this, grab. You know, it, that's not what's going to happen. So, but definitely, 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 just because this is a glow fish or a glow better, don't buy the and don't buy that food, the the flake glow food. Oh no, it's just the same. Oh no. I mean, even Glowfish website says it's it's the, the oh they gosh. need the same stuff. Don't do that, kids. Don't do that. 
don't buy glowfish food or glowfish, you know, water drops. Don't do that. It's it's the same as the other stuff. It really is. And their their website unless it's actually on sale. says that. Yeah. It unless, unless it's says on sale. It's the same, yes. it's the same product. Yes, it, it, it is the same product. But again, if it's on sale, buy it because it's on sale. Right. Chili says, you know about the pink glow angelfish? I saw that. Uh, I think that was. Is this recent? Instagram, yeah. Was it real or was it somebody photoshopping? I don't know. I haven't heard of it. I haven't seen it. Uh -huh. That wasn't that. It wasn't leucistic, though, was it? I don't know. Because oh, it, it was pretty. It was pretty pink. You're just into that. I really am into leucistic fish. Because of our fish yes, that we're getting. Sure. Let's see. Yeah, Lindsay, it's a uh, it's a protein. That is why. Uh, does this indicate an even higher need for for high protein diet? There's no evidence to say yes or no. We can assume yes, we can assume no, but we can also assume that when we give a better more, more protein, we're not exactly helping its digestive system at the same time. We don't know how those two things correlate, so there's no justification saying you should feed this better differently, or you should not feed this better differently. There's no evidence to point in either direction, so it's kind of your call, but we're going to feed blood worms because that's what we do on Viper Bites. And the uh, ex extreme brand I don't have that. It's, it's the extreme brand of um, beta pellets. I like them because they sink. So I do see this is uh, but this was yeah. from this was in Taiwan. Gotcha. Genetically engineered angels. That doesn't look Taiwan. as pink. That looks more pink than what I saw. That's super pink. But they're glow in the dark. Looks like they're doing it in Taiwan though. This was years ago too, so I'm mm -hmm. sure it's in the works. I wouldn't doubt that we would get it someday. What about man say KG, KG? Glow frontosis are all the rage. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Glow trimax, glow flower horns. It's all coming. It's coming. Are glowfish strictly US Canada? Well they're not allowed in Canada. Yep. No I don't Canada. think they're allowed in the UK. They're mostly United States and then Asia. Yeah, I saw Asia. I saw people in Japan buying. Oh yeah, it's a lot of in the U.S. That's all I saw. Taiwan's. I mean, they Taiwan. I think is who actually created them. That's cool. Originally, um, but it's mostly the U.S. and Asia. Huh. They're not allowed in Australia because nothing. They don't do the genetically modified, so nothing GMO. Yeah, gotcha. mm -hmm. Where their patents are held. Oh, that's cool. I do not buy things that glow. I saw so I saw someone get choked by glow thing by glow things that you get at carnivals. <laughs> All right, <laughs> glow frontosa. That would be fun though. That would really irritate the internet. That would really irritate some people. I wonder if we could do a glow Dumbo. Hmm. Could try. It. Give her a, a Dumbo nail. But you have to remember that most likely they're not the fish that aren't glow fish, they're not in breed with fish that glow. Sorry. You could I mean you could try, but I think you'd have a harder time. I think there there'd be a harder time to make that happen. Whoa. Tampa Tom. You bring that up? Yeah. My gosh. I stopped feeding blood worms. They gave all my tanks Kalmanar's red worm. I can prove it because even because even the solo beta got, beta got it. Terrible. That sounds awfully familiar, though. Yeah. What brand were they, Tom? If you were, if you recall. Because we just ran into yeah. a similar. That's a very issue. similar issue than what I just recently went through. Very similar issue. Ah, uh, Dancer Dragon is UK base. Uh, some information on this is a bit scarce. I bet because oh, they're that's cool. I don't, they're not yeah. out there. Well, if you want, there's a <clears throat> what, what's it? Uh, Matt Matt Fid Blue Matt Fid Blow Fid Blue. Uh, oh man! Are if you, you search, if you so, yeah, he's he did he did a he did a really really really. This is for Dancer Dragon. He did a really solid job on his video. 
I even, I, I even emailed the guy. We emailed mm -hmm. uh, back and forth. I asked him if I could link his video on my channel. He did that nice of a job. He really did a good job. Oh, I forget how to pronounce it, that name. Yes, I'll spell it for you. It's <laughs> Matt, M-A-T-T. And then the last name is T-H-I-B-O-D-E-A-U. I mean, he does a great job. I'll drop the link. You guys can check yeah. it out if you yeah, want that's, to. Yeah, it's definitely better to watch it, especially if you're having trouble coming across information on, on Glowfish in general. Um, but he did do a, a really, really nice job. So, um, blood worms are not good for guppies. Try Daphne. Yeah. Good for a lot of fish. Yeah, definitely is good for a lot of fish. It's hard to come by up here, but you can get it frozen all day, yeah. that's for sure. We do have a hard time finding live Daphne. Next will be glow front hoses. <laughs> So. Well, I know there's, I think I linked one article, if not, I'll go in there and I'll add them, mm -hmm. about how people worry that if you're having fish glow, they're worried that you're going to have, you know, cats glowing next. And I think that's... That's not, a dangerous question to ask. I mean, that, right. that's, that's fair to be like, do we really need that? Right. I mean, I don't necessarily need, you know... A glow chihuahua to save my life, but if it can help identify cancer in the dog, then I'd be alright with right. that. Well, I think I personally think it's pretty different. Yeah, with I mean, having a fish a, yeah. rather than a cat, because yeah, you those also, are very different ethical questions. To I ask. I also think you know there are already so many fish that are so colorful right. that are so vibrant right. that that's it seems a little bit more natural than right. a hot pink cat yes. or you even when you see like oh that dog's got purple fur you do a second look because you're you aren't used to that mm -hmm. you know so i i think because of the bright fish that are already in the hobby mm -hmm. it might seem a little bit more natural I'm gonna look that up. A little bit. Oops. That was you. <laughs> Let's see. They already have glowing cats. Why do I feel like I've heard that before? I think it was some kind of. Yeah, uh, they do all kinds of weird things in science. <laughs> and we don't know half of it either. <laughs> yes, that is why I would not want to see a glow white bear. Glowing cats. Looks like it's to help identify AIDS. Oh, the feline. Yeah, for AIDS. That's neat. Hmm. Well, I mean, they used it in humans as well. Yeah, the claws glow. Well, a lot of reason that they created the glowfish also was they were trying to um, test for cancer to yeah. see if they could track uh, the cancerous cells in the glowfish. They were looking at their kidneys. Looks like. Healthy everything, healthy, 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 so non-issue. Cool. Cool beans. Didn't know. That's really Science neat. does a lot of interesting weird things. Mm -hmm. But there's always going to be the question, what's, you know. What is ethical what is and what is not. Yeah. yeah. You're always going to have people on both sides. Yeah, you and will. And then you're going to have people say, it's not ethical. And then they go down to the local pub and have, you know, a half-pound hamburger, you know, with nacho cheese chips and chicken wings. It's like, okay, well, you realize how that worked, didn't you? Getting lots of animals there. You kind of understand where I'm coming from, you know. But there, there, there is a, a very fair and healthy argument to have about what is ethical, what is not, what is okay to do with your fish, what is not okay. Uh, I think we could obviously do a much better job about making um, any kind of crime to animals a felony. In my opinion, I think I think that's very fair. If you're cruel to an animal and it's caught, you know, you're you're seeing your witness doing it, it's on photo, video, whatever it is, there's enough evidence to prove you guilty of being cruel to animals. Go to jail. Yeah. And go to jail. I mean at least catch it at least catch the F card. Because that's not fair. If the animal can't defend itself against you and you're being cruel to it, no. F card. Sorry. I just saw Phil. At least minimal community service at an animal shelter giving back under supervision because obviously you're a turd. Can't be left alone with you that. Know. 
But that is that is, I mean it's a fair, very, 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 very fair point to make is where where do you you know, where do you draw the line? You know me, I, I draw the line at ostrich burgers, you know. Obviously I'm not down with um, you know, eating a, a Doberman burger. But there is a very fair fair argument to make to say like, okay, what went into making this fish? Did it harm the fish in any way? How many fish were killed in the process? All those questions are very fair to ask. Well, know. it would be interesting but, to know kind of really how the glowfish process really started. I'm certain it's microscope and injection. Yeah. That's I, I am I am most certain that nobody was harmed or killed in the process. No, but I'm I'm just saying it would be interesting to be able to see that beginning process it would of be cool the glow it would be really not cool just that. you inject a protein and right. you know their basic little spiel about how they did it. I mean, right. it would just be interesting to see the in, you know the process mm -hmm. of how it actually was created. Like, right. how did you really create this fish? Right. But now there's all of these other fish with with the genetics. Right. That's all. I mean, you never see the process because that's that's what that company does. So. Right. Uh, so far, Dancer Dragon, uh, do we know the te do we know if the temperaments of these bettas are any different uh, to Splendens? So far, he's behaving just like a normal young male betta would. Flares at anything that swims by. Does a good job holding down stir. He made himself a cute little bubble nest uh, yesterday and this morning. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yeah, a little bubble nest. It's, well, it's right there, see the anubius. It's right under the anubius. Oh, I see a little bit. Yeah. So he's starting to feel good. He's just like, you know, whatever. Feeling He's good. Behaving, you know, normal, I guess. Normal. Right. Let's see. Zen Ginger. My last video is why I love blowfish and how and why they were made. I absolutely love this conversation. Oh, cool. Well, yes, thank indeed. You and your video was very good, too. I haven't seen it yet, but I will definitely check it out after this stream. Yeah. Did a good job. I mean, we're, we're making, you know, many of the same similar points. You know, but, uh, <laughs> Let's see, Tomo says that it's the same thing, but it's a fun experience for say to be a fan of blood oh, yeah. mm. I say, I mean, it's so hard to admit when something happens to your fish. Yeah. I mean, it is hard. You know, you feel defeated and right. what I'm, did I do or did I not do? Not do. You know. So I can tell you Lavamasol did not do it for me. You know. Like you said, we lost yeah. our Japanese blue guppies. But lost the whole colony of Japanese blue. They just crashed it was just so fast. Dead. I mean, there was nothing. They just gone. Such a bummer. It was very disappointing. Well, I my blue bed is so happy. Yeah, our, yep. our blue bettas yeah. are happy. We've got yep. a betta trio, and they're all blue and blue copper. I miss my blue bettas. Yeah. yeah. Well, blue you can there. go see them over there. Now they're happy. Yep, yeah, now they're, they're happy. happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to check out Zen Ginger's yeah. Glowfish Definitely. video. I like to see the ones that are really positive about mm -hmm. it because you get i mean if you're in any any kind of fish group on facebook you put particularly better groups right just but just in general i think there's so much hate yeah. for glow bettas and i or any glow fish and then i think just you add on how much people will attack you about bettas yeah. i mean it's it's intense. Like if you're in a fish group, you've yeah, seen you it. get it. You've seen it, and I mean at that People point, go I crazy just... for stuff too. And it's like if you feel that strongly about it, that you need to make someone feel bad, because I assure you, if you talk crap about my glow butter, my kid likes it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, don't get me wrong. They, they, like the internet makes it really easy for people not to get the S slapped out of their F. But at the same time, let people enjoy their own crap. Shut your mouth. If you don't like it, go to go to thechange.org, run your mouth there, and, or join PETA because they're crazy, and shut up because there's going to be a lot of children. And that's that's all I care about is my child enjoys it. My kid goes, oh, wow. They do talk don't about that. Give an S what though. you think. They like, talk I about, about what my kid thinks. They talk about that in a few articles that because of this 
fun aesthetic, you know, glow fish, you know, glow meta, you have more families. Yeah, you're bringing you're bringing, bringing more customers you know, in. Right, it's good for all of us. Having fun with this, you, right. children are very attracted to it. They right. say that the glow fish can really, you know, it it draws their attention, attention yeah. much better than say other even other fish it do. It gives them something. I mean, if the child is old enough, they can participate. Right. They're the learning deal science, and, you know, learning to take yeah, care I mean, of an most, animal. You know, and most average people have no idea how to do these things, too. So, I mean, hopefully it teaches them. And they go, oh, wow. You know, we're at the pet store every week, you know, buying this. You know, maybe maybe the mom and the dad become a customer. Of, I don't know. Maybe they buy a ball of shark or they buy a goldfish. Like, you know, it, it all it helps everybody. The more fish customers we have, the better. It helps all of us. At the end of the day, it's hypoallergenic. And it's really not hard. People think this fish keeping thing is hard. It's really not hard. I mean, I have a full-time job, obviously full-time family parent. Mm -hmm. She's a full-time mom and, and we can do it. Don't worry, we do most of this together. It's not like all me or all her. It's a shared deal, like, you know, moving the hoses and buckets around. I mean, it's it's an event. It really is. I can do a lot by myself, but it's because I've been doing this for, yeah. I don't know, 20 something years now. I mean, I, it, the process isn't hard. To me. The science of making myself better at this is the challenge. Because I, I mean, I have found things in the last two or three years that the last 10 years before that, it's all I believed and thought was, you know, applicable. A couple of years, you know, a couple of years around, you know, higher, higher level thinking and ichthyologist types of folks, you're like, wow, I think I will try that actually, because I thought I couldn't do it. So it's like, all right, I'm going to try it. Okay, I'm going to try it. And having that just try it attitude. I mean, I think we need more of that. I mean, I, we're so fearful of what the internet is going to say. I encourage you to stop caring what the internet thinks. I, I genuinely encourage you to stop caring what the internet thinks. I, I would encourage you to care more about what you think and how you feel about what you're doing. And if you're married, obviously listen to your partner closely. I mean, don't, I mean, I don't tell any, like, I don't care what you think about this. Like, no, don't do that. But there's no sense in arguing with stupid people on the internet. Especially ones that won't even Google. Since, you know, you're just going to get stressed out. You're just going to get frustrated. You don't need that stress or frustration. You know, like a lot of YouTubers I follow, you know, in different communities. Scroll on by. Just yep. exit out. You can, you know, the greatest part about the internet is you can <coughs> shut it down. Yep. And there's, no, there's nothing wrong with educating somebody, mm -hmm. but you don't have to hurt them correct mm -hmm. dancing dragon says uh i had a conversation with someone this week about the glow beta and how so far only one tail type has been shown we were discussing as to whether they're struggling to get the effect on other tails most likely but in my opinion breeding blood splendens breeding beta splendens is so easy it's so easy and there's way less fighting with them because the fins are shorter and you can just plop, 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 plop. They're also super, um, what are the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, prolific, very prolific. You can, you can even start to breed them as young as four months. It's, I think it's a matter of what's, I think it's like an availability and then who, you know, are people are going to buy it? I mean, there's also probably a lot to be said about those different tail types because, you know, DNA is DNA, whether it's us or them. DNA is DNA. It is what it is. They have, obviously, they have less than we do, but when you modify those chains or add to those chains, the tail type might have something to do with that. It's a really good discussion to have. I am clearly not smart enough to do that, but I give bet you somebody out there is smart enough to ever talk about glow bed as being Dumbo or spade tail or it's probably going to happen macrostoma I mean what if you took it to that level you know I mean I think all in possible? time it'll it'll happen it'll be out there all but possible. yeah I totally agree with Chewy LTD I'm going to highlight this comment because I completely agree suggest Daphne and, and, Bro and Brian Shrimp for guppies could agree more could not agree more Absolutely freaking literally, dude. 
Oh, okay. Agreed. Uh, I don't know that I'd get a glow butter, but when I said I might do it on Steamfest stream, I heard an audible gasp in chat. People are very strong opinions. Amen. And that's exactly why I did it. Because I really, really enjoy um, watching people just think they know everything about a topic within five minutes of it being out there and going, I have a belief system. Shut up. Well, that's why I wanted to. <laughs> that's why I wanted let to. Let people do the enjoy research, stuff. Research myself. Yeah, I wanted just to. Let people enjoy stuff. I wanted to read what, you know, somebody that's actually studied. Right. Pay attention. This. You know, this was their, you know, dissertation mm -hmm. or. You know, just a science, I mean, you know, put science a lot article. Of work into that. And then if it's, you know, reviewed by peers, too, right. that's the whole point. Right. Okay, somebody else that's also educated in this mm -hmm. is looking at this. You know, what do they think? Right. You know, she's not, you know, just like the Davies, mm -hmm. you know, article. Her peers reviewed that mm -hmm. before it was put out there. So right. I'm going to... Probably trust and listen to quite a bit that Absolutely. she says in that article, and I Absolutely. found it um, really beneficial. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I said, I've been doing my own research to understand the glowfish, so I don't just hear the drama online and say, yeah. well, "Oh gosh," you know. Because I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Zen Ginger, that's all it is. It's just a bunch of talking crap. Oh, yeah. It's my fish is better than your fish. This fish is terrible because I believe that this is going on. And the reality is none of that is is true. You know, none none of none of that nonsense makes any sense at all. That if it brings another customer into our hobby, that helps everybody. Oh, I don't like modified fish. Why not? Why not? Well, I mean that that's the thing that they won't answer. If somebody is such a purist, it's then they, not natural. But I'm saying then they shouldn't even. It's get not natural for you to carry a phone around either. Look at you. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't even have fancy guppies because everything's right. been selected for a certain yeah. genetic trait. Correct. As have we for our aquarium. As have we. Right. As have we as people. I mean. You go for what you like, mm -hmm. right? You find traits in other people and you go for those traits because they make the most sense to you. Mm -hmm. Derp. All right. So it also means staying away from the aging valgy genetic. Oops, I must have skipped over something. Yeah, there's some Oh, other yeah, things. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rainbow Galaxy Clapping. Oh. That would be Nito Frito. That would be Nito Frito. We do have the best guppies in the world behind you. <laughs> they are, they're the quote, quote, uh, best guppies in the world. We talked the about red them on our dragon last, last stream. Large ear mosaic. Can't wait for Pride. That's going to be fun. It should be soon. Mm -hmm. Dan Su says, Super pretty. I've only recently got into beta breeding, so glow bettas are absolutely fascinating to me right now. I look forward to seeing what they do with them in the future and whether other tail types will come out. Mm -hmm. I think they'll do a different color before a different tail type. I'm, I'm, I'm right. gonna, I'm, you know, I'm trying to remember what she, what all she wrote in that article, but there's nothing in there like specifically about beta tail types or different or different beta species being bred into that glowfish gene or that oh, that uh, having that protein. I mean. I would imagine you're going to see a, a purple one, a blue one, a pink one, before you're going to see a Dumbo one. I think right. that's just smart marketing. And it's probably easier to create. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Sort of understand it how you would how would you like to be a part coral. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Like, would you want like your teeth to glow or your hair to glow? You got a fun. If your eyes could glow, <laughs> I would do that. That would be really fun. Like under under like like you went to a club or whatever, like spooky eyes. That'd be really fun. <laughs> Can you imagine? You got really drunk. You know oh what? No, imagine somebody coming up to you. They're just like totally trash. Like 
bruh. I think of it a totally different way. I'm like, oh, if your eyes glowed, it was like, talk about a wicked sci-fi or horror oh, yeah. film. Yeah. You're like, yeah, let's party. I'm let's like, oh, it. that would be so spooky. <laughs> like, that's where my mind went. I don't know. I'm wild. I like to have fun. Right there. That's a fair argument, though. I put my hair somewhere. Okay, well, don't okay. don't put Plato in your hair, silly. Where is it? It's not in your hair. It's, it's on the table. Yeah, it's not. Eight three. It's not in your hair. There's no Plato in your hair. I got it here. There it is. There it is. I'm stronger. Well, do you have any other myths or anything hmm. else that you Let's want? Let's say they see? don't need different water parameters. That's a fact. They don't need different foods. We can mostly assume that to be true. Again, I am personally going to feed a diet as if I would feed any other beta. Now, I'm not making any changes or differences between what I do with this flow beta and what I do with any of my other betas. Right. I've got a couple of them around here, so I'm not going to do anything differently. Frozen, live, and uh, a couple of flakes. Fiber bots, that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Water parameters, no different, and you can't say they're any different. Mm -hmm. Tank setup. I mean, we set ours up just the way as we would any other any other tank. Any other fish. Any really? other fish. The same as any other fish. I'm not gonna make any exceptions. Send Ginger well. says she also says they're proven not to survive. Oh, exactly. in the wild. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Go get your milk, honey. Yeah, the the, the the haters, they just. I, I think it's, you know what you know what I really think it is. I think it's like this populist thing, like like they have to be assimilated with each other. Okay, she agrees, so I have to agree with her, or he right. agrees, so I gotta agree. You know, they just they. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's human nature. Human it's, nature is to assimilate with with common bonds and common opinion. If everybody says it's a thing, it's like the Popeyes chicken BS. It's the same thing. Ever. Oh, right. chicken's going to be so good. And guess what? All y'all that went out there, thank you for giving your local community and small business owner, corporate, whatever, a bunch of money, your money. You know, nice job on that. But they duped you. And they duped you because of your friends and family and people on the internet is duping you. It's just assimilation. It's, it's, that's all it is. People have to, to do a thing. It's why people buy jerseys for sports teams. Or they'll buy a specific color for an event or specific shirt for an event. It's to assimilate. You know, it's we we are humans. We love to fit in and not stand out. And then there's others of people who want to stand out because they don't want to be a sheep. You know. Uh, let's see, Senor Chu says. Oops, sorry, chat just was crazy. More of the conservation issues and ginger. I'm okay with egg laying uh, glowfish as long as it doesn't endanger species effectively. Yeah, totally fair. I do not want any. I mean, I'm really against people dumping fish in the first place. I mean, I know we need more fish rescues out there in general, but just don't dump your fish. That's terrible. As far as glowing eyes, I've seen that naturally with human eyes. Some people's eyes just glow. You ever seen those tattooed eyeballs? Those are rad. Like those guys have got to have like serious vision issues later in life, though. I mean, tattooing your eyeball. The one dude was red. The other guy's was blue. The one guy's was black. Eventually, it just fades. It's like a prison show. They would lock up raw. It just fades. I don't know. I don't know if they ever did a follow-up with those guys or not. It's hard to say. They're murderers. So, I don't know. The other side of that is in ginger is that no population um, other than certain species across the that Very good point. Very, very, very good point. What did she do? She's just flopping around in her mouth. <laughs> okay. This kid's really obsessed with textures lately. Here's so. your mouth. I'm trying to think of what else that we read. It's mostly the mostly the stuff that I see online is sign the petition, change.org, get them off the shelf, blah blah blah. And that they're gonna hurt our ecosystem. Yeah, and then it's then it's coupled with it's it's harming the ecosystem. They're killing. Like, 
and there's there's a lot a lot of articles out there yeah. that say that it's proven. Like, have y'all magic. ever met my friend the raccoon? If, you, if the raccoon sees a glowing fish in one of your ponds outside, that effer is dead. D E A dead. Now, if they start making edible fish that glow, oh, right. Then. then if we could glow too, I'm down. What if your poop glows? Oh, oh man, could you imagine? Well, it's like you know they they got like that dessert. It's just, it's like the most expensive dessert in Las Vegas. I'm totally not making this up either. It's like one of the most expensive uh, desserts in Las Vegas, and it comes to, like 24 cold, 24 gold, like flake stuff that's like edible or whatever. I don't know if it's edible because you poop it out, right? But when you poop, it's like glitter in your poop. And now we're talking about poop. It's always a good time to talk about poop. Everybody poops. Everything poops. Oh, it, it but seriously, does. gold poop, or if like if you could glow poop, if your poop could glow, that'd be red. Oh, could you imagine? So, do I even want to hear this? Probably not. Okay, I let's say that <laughs> save it. Save it for another time, please. Not the glowing here. landfill. Not that'd here. Be wild. Not oh, here. such as glow, glow sword tails. That'd be really neat. Uh, there's no natural hybridization genetics. Yeah, glow salmon from BC salmon farms already exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some nasty stuff going on with salmon, though. Well, there's Chewy a lot, of, really lot of things that they talk about. <laughs> Choose your salmon wisely that mm -hmm. you purchase from the store. That's for sure. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. But trust and believe if we live south, we can catch our own fish. Mm -hmm. oh, we should go sword fishing. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever gone sword fishing or like deep sea fishing? I've gone once. That was fun. What will we can catch? Caught this ugly lizard fish. I think it was crazy looking. Yeah. Caught That's a lot creepy. of trigger. Trigger is delicious. That's a really tasty fish. Well, I guess we should plug our own business, right? Oh, yeah. So, by the way, we have a website, fishcauldron.com. It's all hand designed. It's all made right here where we're sitting at. It's all mm -hmm. done right here. Uh, if you want so if you see something you like, let us know. Um, I'd be happy to sell it to you for sure. It's all quick. It's all online. You can do it right from your phone, computer. It's super easy, super quick. Uh, if you see something that you'd like us to modify to suit your needs, like I wish it was more like this, or I wish it did this, let us know. Shoot us an email, uh, Facebook, whatever you want to do. We'll we'll change it just for you. Yeah, like if you deal. see a design, but you don't want an Oscar, you want, you know, a, a glow diff better. A different, yeah, a little better. So you can check it out at fishcauldron.com. Yeah. So we're trying to get all t-shirts to be free shipping. So. Yeah, yeah, working hard on that. Um, just so you guys know how the process works, we do have to sell a certain amount before we can do the next thing, right? So that's just how it works. But we're good. We're close. We have shipped them uh, across the globe, so that's mm -hmm. kind of neat. Germany. That's pretty cool. Canada. Somebody in Germany paying. has one of our shirts. That's so. Yeah, That's it's really, really cool. neat to be yeah. that somewhere across the ocean, international, has found our little website. So really if you're into neat. fish, or you know, I think I want to try to add some more, um, just more exotic animals mm -hmm. over time. But for right now, it's the fish. But yeah, all in time. Yeah, when we make our next move, we'll do some cool stuff. Do a little bit. Do a little bit more. And the oh, yeah. ability to do a little bit more. Yes. So it'll be really cool. Well, was there any other myths? Or we've been about an hour, and then I know a lot of other so. people have come on live too. Yeah. The next few hours, there's a bunch of other people going live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah. Make sure, make sure you go check out JH. Uh, definitely, a, if JH happens to come across my crap, which I doubt because I'm not that good, but if he does happen to come across my crap. I am sorry to you, sir. I did not mean to go at the same time as you. I am sincerely sorry because that is rude. But since we're here, it started and we set all this stuff up. We went ahead and made the decision to keep going. But uh, if this well, goes up to JH, I'm sorry. I, I legit did not know. I thought I was going before you. Um, but anyways, well, we're not stealing his audience. Yeah, either, I'm so. sure he had. You know, I didn't even look, but I'm sure he had a great audience. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people. They, they you know, he, he deserves to have a humongous audience and a, and a lot of attention. He does a fantastic job. He's very passionate about what he does, and I totally respect him for that. Um, 
I think it's awesome to have people like that in the hobby too. So, anyways, make sure you go check out his crap. Give him a like. Give him a sub. Um, if you like our crap, make sure you let us know. If you don't like our crap, make sure you hit that dislike button. It only helps us out if you think it hurts my feelings. You're wrong. It helps my channel. Please do it again. <laughs> I'm not that guy. Believe me. If you can't tell on how I act, I don't care at all. I care about being a good person and making this community better. And if you're going to try to hurt my feelings, I wish you the best of luck because I have a very dark black soul like my friend Punchy. And that is why we get along so well because she is wonderful. Shout out to Punchy Paints. She does a great job. Also Check looking out her forward. art. Yeah, also art. looking look really looking forward to buying some art from uh, Punchy. She does a great job. You know, it's really awesome. Yeah. Punchy paints. Yeah, Punchy paints. Check out her stuff. Yeah. She's very talented. Yeah. So let's see. Think about it. Why do some fish glow naturally? It's for their environment. It's for biological reason. It has purpose. Mm -hmm. Your entertainment and cash is not a reason to genetically modify a life form. It's a fair argument to make. It's fair. Well, that's but we can say that about a lot of things. Yeah, that's the whole question. You know, how far do you go for I mean, anything wear, aesthetically pleasing? See, it looks like a girl. So, I mean, do you wear makeup? How do you think that happened? I mean, there's lots of ugly sides to things, but if you think about it in terms of cash, I'm not bad. I'm not bad with giving my money because, in my opinion, it's the cheapest entertainment I've got. Netflix costs what over a hundred dollars a year. That fish cost me $16. I'll have that fish for what? Two and a half, three years. I mean, I hope, right? We'll see. So it's a pretty young fish. You can check Do out. Do the math um, on that. That's that's cheap. That's cheap fun. You can check out um, Glowfish. What is it? Spectrum that owns Glowfish now. Um, they started in 2019 um, helping communities in Kenya to get. Um, Oh, access to yeah. clean water so there's yeah, so i mean i guess i guess her point about making bit. you know, ca cash about it well i mean if they're doing trying, a good thing with that money trying i mean if they're saying cool. they're trying to do a little bit of something i mean yeah i mean we have this coronavirus going around right now think about it that coronavirus got into oh, sudan or ethiopia or eritrea they're screwed terrible. they're screwed yeah. it's the way it is but if there's you know obviously people involved that are heck even us by like Project Paiba. That's a good point to make. You know, a lot a lot of people feel that way about taking fish out of the wild. Mm -hmm. But look at where that money goes. Yeah. It's going to people that may otherwise not eat or have to get into illegal activities. And right. I'd rather I mean hell, we got a geophagus in the one twenty five right now. He right. came out he of the was wild. A wild geophagus. You know, that probably gave somebody a job for you yeah. know, at least you know, a day. I don't know. Somebody earning some money. Some earning some money and it's in my tank right now. And I'm just some dork in Chicago over right? here. That's pretty awesome. But anyways, punch paints. Love you, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. Uh, she says, uh, I happen to agree with a lot of a lot of species in the environment. Look at jewel cichlids in Florida compared to wild types in the Congo. That's a really, really good point. That's a really good point. Really good point. There's even um, that's happening with sword tails and guppies and all kinds of stuff. It's in like Texas, the cichlids. Yeah. The same thing in Florida with cichlids. It's wild what's going on. Um, the excuse me, the hybridization of fish to get into the flower horn, even yeah, like. But you know what? Wow. Though? I'm in, I'm thoroughly impressed with how they do it. You know, I mean, all of these fish in our tanks mm -hmm. have been acclimated yeah. and born into and developed in our water too. Mm -hmm. So that's affected probably what kind of fish they become yeah. you know if you put them maybe where they were naturally supposed to be now they may not survive yeah because I mean, they're Gidea, Gidea, for example they're used to what we have yeah. here yeah. and andy andy p and you know the the, the fish tank room in the basement mm -hmm. I, mean, I think about the wild gadaid species i mean he has he has species that are extinct in the wild yeah it's pretty incredible again He's some dork in chicago it's really cool slippery slope Mm, I don't know about that. That's a hard argument to me. I don't know. I don't know about slippery slope. If it's a slippery slope, it's like not a steep slope. It's like a really level one. Taking fish out of the wild produces income as long as it does not affect uh, fish stocks naturally. Like the cod salmon. Amen, senor. Amen. You're always going to have the good and bad with all of it. Though. Yeah, with you anything. Know, every, you can yeah, always weigh your options yeah. and... That's why it's always really what good to be believe? fair. It's, it's really good to be fair. 
Like, just because I believe in a thing, at least listen. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that's, wrong with listening. That's the you don't have to agree. You can listen. Just, Try to understand. Just educate yourself. Yeah. yeah. The, the thing, I guess we'll leave you with this. Uh, I'm a manager of a department at a very large facility. I have well over 50 people that report to me on a daily basis. I give you this. When it comes to arguing with people online, it's the same thing with arguing with coworkers. It's about problem solving. That's all this is. It's about problem solving. And it's a compromise. Your belief, their belief, the compromise. All you have to do is compromise. Nobody gets exactly what they want. Nobody feels like they're right or wrong. It's a compromise. Just keep that in mind when you're arguing with some moron on the internet, because that's what you're going to call them. You're going to call them a moron. You're the oldest person a moron on the internet, right? Just because they simply disagree with you, or in some cases, they are absolutely a moron. You know, and that, and that does happen. Sometimes I'm a moron too. And I have no, I have no problem admitting that sometimes I'm the stupidest person with two legs. But I learned from that experience, and I don't argue with it. I learned. So, but definitely, definitely remember, people, if you're into a thing love your thing because you love it and you enjoy it. If somebody disagrees with you, listen to what they have to say. Um, you know, some people say it's a slippery slope. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Do you love your fish? I hope so. We love ours because our kid loves it. We hope that you go out and buy a little bit. If you want one, if you don't want one, if you don't want one, don't bash somebody else on the internet because they got one. Shut your mouth. Nobody cares what you think anyway. I mean, they're, they're just going to buy You're going you're gonna to tell somebody like me, I'm going to go out and buy two. And then I'll, I'll wait till they stock the shelf and I'll buy them all out. They only have places for nine of them anyway. I can't afford that. I'll go buy the whole shelf out just to do it, right? Just to do it. Okay, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to say goodbye. You ready? You say bye together. Thanks for hanging out with us. You say bye, Punchy. Bye, Punchy. That's my girl. I'll say bye, Chewy. Bye, Chewy. Say bye. Uh, what was her name? Monica. Say bye, Monica. She did good on yours. That was Say awesome. Say bye, Zen Ginger. Bye, Zen Ginger. Good job. Good job. Tampa, Tampa Tom. Tom. Yeah. Tom's a really nice guy, too. Say bye, Tampa, Say bye, Tampa Tom. Tom. That was good pretty job. good. That was pretty good. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Do we say oh, don't. Can you say Dan. dragon? You can say, say dragon. dragon. Say bye, bye dragon. dragon. I don't think she'd get that, that John suit. I don't know. Well, but anyways, thank you all for showing yeah. up. Thank you even more for sharing your opinions. Uh, remember, that's what everybody does this for. If you don't know how science works, science works exactly as I say a thing and I believe it. She does her research. She tells me that I'm stupid. I took Morris research and tell her that she's stupid. That's how science together. works. And we learn it together. And that's what this is about. So at any rate, thank you um all very much stay safe and have a good rest of your weekend <laughs> I don't even love nobody told you to Sunday. shut your mouth by the way but i'm gonna end the stream and you can continue to run your bye, mouth guys. nobody have told a good you to day. shut your mouth bye bye, bye, guys. bye. <laughs> what an idiot <laughs>